Many customers, they want to buy plasma cutting machines or flame cutting machines to work on the steel, but they don't have so much budget or their working space is not so big. So uh, they don't know how to do. Today, I will introduce one kind of machines that can solve this problem. This is one portable plasma cutting machines. This plasma machine is very portable, you can see. It's very small, but it can work on plasma and work on the flame. The price is also much cheaper than the big machines. So it is very suitable for the family or working or for the new starters. Today, I will introduce how to use it step by step. The plasma source. If we want to use the plasma, then this is the plasma source. And uh, here is a controller. This is a controller. This controller can support Chinese, English, uh, Spanish, uh, and uh, other languages. This is the uh, arc setting. We set the arc uh, by here. And uh, here is the plasma head. Plasma head. And this switch, this switch is connected to the parts where you want to work on. This will connect to the plasma power and also to the steel, what you want to cut. Now let me introduce the several parts to you. You can see here, we have two cables here. One cable is for the arc. We have labels here. And one cable, this is for the plasma. plasma. This is two plugs and different uh, inserts. So one insert here to the arc voltage, one to the control signals. They are different, so you, you will not make mistakes. And here, because this plasma is a single phase, 200 volts single phase, so you can see we connect just like this. One thing is very important is here. This is a air tube air tube. We usually use the 8 millimeters, 8 millimeters air tube to connect to the air compressor. Here has the filter inside. And uh, the voltage for the air is usually from 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 MPa. Here is a current meter, current meter. It means when you want to cut the steel, how big the current you want to use. And this switch we will set here, you can see. From here we can set the current meter. And here we also make sure this is power, power, green light, air pressure, also green light. Here are two alarms, they are yellow light. Make sure they are not open on. They are not opening on. Here, never keep it just like this. This is the inside. This is the check air. Don't don't use it and never push it. Now we, we check here. We check here. This is the work cable. We it means work cable. This one we will connect to the uh, steel you want to cut. Just uh, remember the the switch. Look here. Cable. Connect this switch to the steel, which one you want to cut. And uh, this cable is for the output air current. Here, here, this one also cable. Need to connect here. Uh, here we have four cables. And uh, because the cable have different uh, plugs, so usually not uh, meet, usually it will not make a mistake, but uh, you should make sure. One for this one. This is the uh, arc uh, setting equipment. This one. Now here we have four switches here, four switches, and the two watches here. Now I will introduce one by one. Usually we, usually, we use the first one, second one, and third one. This is the real one we uh, usually use. But uh, when you receive the machine, not usually set them, because we set them well before the delivery. Now, first one, 
it is an uh, arc setting and uh, auto or uh, manual arc setting. Arc setting. Arc setting. It means uh, when it cutting, when it cut the head. This is the plasma head, and this is the steel. Uh, how distance? What's the distance from the head to the plate? It means this. Just look here. It means the head and the distance from the steel. It means this. The second one, it means the, uh, the pulse delay and the uh, acting test. Pulse delay and uh, the arcing test. Cross delay, it means, it means, it makes the pulse and then uh, another time between it cutting. It means from the pulse to cutting, what's the, how much time it will need to wait. Arcing te testing, arcing testing, it is usually used to test this machine has the arc or not. We can show you. Mm. When we press it, it will have it will have arc or not. Can we press it? And others delete, you will turn it. Now, the third one. Third one is the IHS height. IHS height in the test. It means it makes the holes on the plate. It makes the holes and uh, that, that, that height. Because your plate has different thickness, it will make the holes, the thickness. The last one you are not to use, so we don't suggest you to set it. That is the arc setting equipment. Here is the controller. The controller. Now you can see there are so many buttons, but it is very easy. We usually we don't use so many buttons. Now we can see. We can see. I will introduce you some means. The X and Y, they are usually zero zero. It means no matter where it starts, you just move the gun to the to the point. That will be the work piece will be the start zero. And here, here we can see X, Y, F, G. It will be equal to here. G, X, Y, F. For example, the X, it is the demo speed. Then X, demo speed. If we want to change the speed, then we press here. Why? It means the uh, uh, manual speed. If we want to change the speed, it will press here. It will be equal. Equal. Now, here are so many buttons. We usually remember start, it means the start cutting. Start cutting, stop, it will start. Enter, enter, it means when you load some file, we, or parameters. Or parameters, for example, we change the speed here, we press enter, then the parameters will be inside. Several arrows, up, down, left, and right. Mm -hmm. Now here, I will introduce the demo, because when you work on some piece, for example, here, if we want to cut this tube, I cut one plate, just like this. We usually use a demo because the size uh, we made, but the plate here, we are not sure they are in the size or not. Then we can use a demo to test. Then how to use a demo? Here, demo. Shift and M. Shift and M. We press together. You can see here, demo run. Demo run. We usually press the shift and the M. Then we, we show you. This is a plasma. This is a plasma cut. Shift and M. Demo run. Demo run. It means that the machine will work in the size if the uh, size is correct or not. Shift M. Flame cut. If we use the flame, then use this model. If you are plasma, we use this. Now we show you the demo. This is a demo run. Now let me show you. Now it's a demo run. We press start. 
in front of the inner. Start. Then you can see, sure to demo, we press enter. Enter. Then we press it, you can see the time. It will run in the demo to show the square we want to cut is correct or not. Okay, another one is how to load the file. If we design in our computer, we want to use the USB. Now we press plus the USB inside. Press F2 and F2 again. Then F. Then you can see here. This, this, these are all the files. What we want to use? For example, if we want to change second one, use arrow, down arrow. It will choose the second one. F8. Then the cat is here. This is the file we want to cut. Mm -hmm. 